Good morning, everyone. We got Mama Ray, Mama Sheba, and Mama Delilah. And Candy just came in. She's been outside. And then I've got all these babies. <laughs> yeah, I was going to wait a little while for my video, but I told you when they do something cute, I always grab the camera. Uh, I was sitting inside here just kind of checking them all out and touching them. And this little guy, Bo, he started trying to play. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorite, favorite things. They first learn to start expressing themselves. <laughs> oh, he just wants to play and he's just ornery. <laughs> Bow and arrow are slightly older than the rest of the babies. <laughs> and they're both just beginning to express themselves and growl and chirp, chew on each other. <laughs> oh, so I had to grab the camera because he was being so comical. You good little boy, aren't you? You're such a good little boy. Arrow, look at you. The Lila's babies are Petey and Danny and Denny and Devin, Luna, uh, Desi and Maggie. Oh, goodness, I scared somebody. That's my Maggie girl. I'm so sorry. I startled her. They were born, Sheba's babies were born on Tuesday night. Uh, Delilah's babies were born on Wednesday morning. Look at these little group back here. <laughs> so they're really almost the same age. Mine is really just a few hours. And then <clears throat> Ray Ray's babies. I thought I would try them outside the litter box or the, or the litter box, the whelping bed. So I've just been kind of messing with them a little bit, catching them when they wake up and then putting them out. I really want to get her whelping bed out of here and give more room for the babies. And they seem to be doing just fine with that. Of course, mom just fed them a little while ago, so they're pretty sleepy. <laughs> Where are you going, Bo? Huh? Where are you going? You just coming right over? Hi, Maggie. Oh, good morning, Maggie. I'm going to go out today and run some errands. My husband's coming home early, and I'm going to pick up another bed, maybe two. Put four of these little beds in here for all the puppies and the mamas. I was, ooh, somebody, Radar, you need a, a wipe. So does Daisy Deuce. Hey, how are you? Is that Reagan? Hey, Reagan, come here, let me see you. Oh, I think that's Reagan. Oh, come here. No? Yeah, that's Reagan. I'm not sure. I think it's Reagan. No, this is Reagan. And this is Patch. They're the two very black. That must be Riley, the one with the Haggerty dot. And then we have Ryan, the one without the Haggerty dot. They look a lot alike. And that must be who? Daisy Deuce? Yeah. Daisy Deuce's two, two Haggerty Dots are becoming one. And then Radar. I'll have to get me a wipe. I keep uh, coconut wipes for the babies, and I keep Clorox wipes for the cleanup. I keep them right by, right close. But I kind of wanted to gradually move these babies. 
over and see how they might do if I get this uh, whelping bed out of here. Daisy Deuce, wake up, pretty. Bo, you're still up and wrestling with me? <laughs> you gonna get my finger? Oh, uh, that must be Joey at the back door. He's a squeaker. Get me, get me, Bo. Get me. <laughs> oh. Hey, kiddos. Wake up, babies. Wake up. Come here, little Riley. I think that's Riley. <laughs> Hi, Arrow. <laughs> When they get to the stage where Bo is at, you can just touch them and they'll growl. Their very first uh, expressions are growling and sounding like they're just a vicious little little animal, but it's the only only way they know. They don't know how to express themselves yet, and that's just the first way they do it. But it quickly changes and becomes more uh, less sound. It doesn't sound as bad. Right now, it's just so adorable. I remember one of my first litters, I was doing this, and uh, they growled at me like that, and I remember I jerked my hand back just because of the noise they made, and then it dawned on me. I was like, hey, you don't even have any teeth, so... <laughs> But they sure can sound like they're going to get you. <laughs> oh, baby, I can't take that messiness. We're going to have to get you clean. Let's get you right over here. And I'll get out and get a uh, get this bed out. And get a little more room. Put down a few more of the fleece pads. Oh, i tell you what. This in and out of all these play pins <laughs> is hard on on the, the body, but this one was a little a little easier than when they were in the nursery in the three play pins. I just have to crawl in once. <laughs> oh, there, babies! There, look at all that extra room. I'll end up putting that. Uh, play center in here pretty quick if these babies if these babies can do good with the uh, oh my camera's acting up oh we're still rolling okay I touched something I shouldn't have touched but uh good old Google wants to help me out so much where are you going down there Luna I want them to travel from the beds to that end for pottying. And eventually, when they get old enough, we'll start moving them to that uh, potty tray. Come here, Radar. Let's see if I can get you cleaned up. Come here. I'll get you right here by me. Come here. Well... I may not be able to do it one-handed. <laughs> Here, turn right this way. Yeah, it's gonna take two hands. What about you, Daisy Deuce? Can I get you cleaned up, hmm? Mamas usually take care of that, but these two got missed. <laughs> Wake up, Radar. <laughs> oh, Sheba, you got some chewing going on over there. Anyway, they're just doing so amazing. Hey, Reba. 
I tell you, this is one pretty, pretty, pretty little girl. Let's look at that gorgeous face. Oh, you're so pretty. Beautiful girl. I love those black ears and that haggardy dot with a lot of white face and collar. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Hi, Bo. I can't resist. I know you're going to play with me. Arrow conked out. I tell you, with Arrow laying right beside uh, <clears throat> Delilah's blue fawns, Arrow is a black mast fawn <clears throat> whose mask is very black. But then Delilah had blue fawns. This is one right here. And they have a a less intense mask. It's it's like a blue mask. There. But they when they're laying well, my video shut off for some reason. I don't know. Google is trying to help me on this smartphone. And I'll just do a part two again. I think my storage should be fine. It shouldn't be about that. So, I don't know what happened. But I was talking about how much alike Arrow, the Black Bass Fawn, and Danny and Denny, the Blue Fawns, how close they look in color. Arrow is a full black mask fawn, so he has a very black mask, so does Bo. But Denny, or yeah, Denny and Danny have a lighter mask, and it's like a blue mask because they're more of a blue fawn color dog. But then my video shut off for no reason. Oh, you're a little better, but you still look a little dirty there, Radar. Petey, oh, isn't that adorable? Oh, you're so adorable. Oh, I hate to uh, disturb him. Petey is a, a beautiful brindle, but it's a lighter brindle. The rest of them have a darker brindle. I hope you can see that in the lighting. But Petey's is slightly different. He is just very uniquely marked. And I love it. Very pretty. <laughs> oh. Mike, I, I hope you can see the color in that. Because he is just beautifully marked. Oh, Radar. Radar is a lot like him, but you can see Radar's brindle is more of the golder, yellower, or blonde, whatever you call it. I think Petey's is what I would call blonde, where uh, Radar's is, is just a darker blonde, reddish blonde. Where's Miss Luna? Hello, pretty girl. Did you decide to wake up and come and see us? Come out of there, Missy. Oh, come out of there. They like to get snug between something and the sides of the playpen. Wake up there, Missy. Come and see me, huh? You want to come and see me? And she is just an amazing little girl. Oh, you checking out your brother? Yeah. Oh, that's not actually your brother. That's your cousin. What's the matter down there, Bo? What is it, Bo? Hey, what's wrong with you? You're telling us about it? Tell us all about it. Oh, yes, the fun is beginning, y'all. <laughs> Where's your mama? Where's your mama? <clears throat> Where is my Daisy Deuce girl? There she is. She's asleep. I didn't get her very clean either. She's still dirty. I'll get in here later today and give them all a good cleaning with the coconut wipe and probably trim their nails again. I know they're they're getting long again. They're growing fast and healthy. What? Tell me about it. He was semi howling. Yesterday, I heard it from the other room. 
and I came to see, and it was him just sitting up, making a howling noise. What is it? Hmm? Oh, did you find me? What's the matter? Oh, come here. You're getting yourself worked up. <laughs> What's the matter, kiddo? What is it? Hmm? Don't get all worked up. You're okay. You're okay. Well, there, calm down. I think Chloe and Joey are outside and started getting a little wild with their wrestling. I could hear them, but they're all right. <laughs> I thought it was something a little more serious. What's the matter, kid? Hmm? There. Get right over here. Here, you want to get in the bed? Get up there. Would that make you happy? No, I want to move. I want to express myself. I want to tell the whole world I have arrived. <laughs> Gorgeous. They are just so much fun. But anyway, they're doing great. This moving to the living room was a good idea. It was the right time. And now I think that we're going to be okay without the other whelping bed. Um, so what, today's Thursday? Ray Ray's babies, the black and whites, will be three weeks old tomorrow. Delilah's babies, the rainbow colors, were three weeks old yesterday. And Sheba's babies... The two boys, the two black mass fun boys, were three weeks old on Tuesday. So basically, they are all three weeks old as of tomorrow. <laughs> and they're doing really well. I, I love our setup. It's a really nice sized play pen. We'll get the play center in here. And depending on how much work it is, uh, to keep clean would be my my main concern. If it if it's if they don't use the litter tray like I'm hoping they will, then I'll take the toys off and attach them to the side of the playpen. But I just think those play centers are so cute, and we'll set it probably where the green mat is and give it a try. And if not. We'll uh, use it on the outside of the playpen for the bigger puppies, or maybe when they're outside the playpen. And there's my husband, so I better get off of here. Y'all have a blessed day. I know I'll be back later. Now that they're in the living room, and I see a lot more when I'm just in here doing my, my household things, I'll be videoing a little bit more probably. So I will be back later today.